Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a simple dashboard that you can use to evaluate individual salespeople's performance against their quota. Now you can see it graphically with a chart and see the statistical information. So let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our data. You can see we have six salespeople here, their sales for each of the months, their total, and what their quota is. And also I have the percentage by month of the typical trend for the industry so we can take their quota and compare it to that trend. And then below we have uh, an individual salesperson's data and their quota by month that we've pulled from the information above. And this area here is used to drive this dashboard. And I can choose any one of the individuals here and you can see it, it will pull up their sales, their quota, the percentage that they did, and graphically show that information. If I pick someone who exceeded their quota, the value shows up in green. Someone who didn't, the value shows up in red. So we're going to see how we can easily build this little dashboard from the information that we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the data that we have here. And I'm also going to delete this sheet. And let's start out with a brand clean new sheet, sheet number two. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is in my sheet two, I'm actually going to, uh, knowing how it's going to end up, I'm going to widen this information a little bit. Um, and I'm going to go and insert here from the developer tab, I'm going to insert a combo box, okay, which is right here. And I'll click on that, and I'm going to put it in cell B3 and B4. I'm going to hold down my Alt key so it locks it into that block. And now I have a combo box that's put right into that spot. Now, while I have that selected, I'm going to go to Properties. And in Properties, I'm going to identify two things. One, a linked cell, so that whenever I choose the information from this dropdown, there's a cell that's tied to it. And I'm also going to uh, indicate the where the list is located here. So my link cell is going to be sheet two exclamation point cell B3. And my list fill range is going to be sheet one, and it's going to be cells A2 to cells A7. That's where the names are um, from the chart that we had there. I'm also going to go up to font, and I know I'm going to need to increase the font. I'm going to leave the font as Calibri, but I'm going to increase it up to 18 so it's a little bit larger. And now when I close this and check off of design mode, you can see there are the names that I have there that I pulled from sheet one, A2 to A7, which is this range right here. Okay. Now also when I go ahead and click on design mode and select that, if I move that out of the way, you can see cell B3 is the cell that's linked to that. So if I take it off a of design mode, whatever I select here will change that cell. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and click that back design mode and put it back right here where we had it. Take it off of design mode. So now over here, I'm going to type equals sheet 2 exclamation point cell B3. And it's going to pull in whatever name is selected there. So if I choose this to be Taylor, you can see it's going to pull in Taylor. So now the key is, is to populate this area here with data from above and then have this information change based on the selection that's made here. And then I'm going to pull a graph from this range here or every time the data here changes based on the selection I've made here the chart and the data from that for that chart will be different. So 
I'm going to use index match to accomplish this. So I'll type equals index. And my array here is going to be this range. I'm going to lock that, F4, comma. My row number is going to be match. And what is, am I going to look up? I'm going to look up this cell here in this lookup array. I'll lock that. And I want a match type of 0, so it's an exact match, comma. And my column numbers are going to be, I'm going to use the columns function. And I'm going to put dollar sign A, dollar sign 1, colon, A1. So as I copy that to the right, that'll change from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, etc. And I'll close off my index formula and hit Enter. And for Taylor, you can see 284, 500, 284, 500. I'll copy this across, 147, 8, 147, 8. So it's pulling the data correctly using this index, match, and column combination here so that whatever name that we choose from our drop-down here, I change that to Roberts. Notice I changed that to Roberts. And now 237, which matches, 276.6, and that matches. Now below this, I'm going to put that salesperson's quota. So how that salesperson's quota is going to be, I'm going to use the VLOOKUP function. Equals VLOOKUP. What's my lookup value? My lookup value is going to be the name I have here, Roberts. Hit F4, comma. What's my table array? My table array is going to be that whole range there. Again, I'm going to lock that. Comma. My column index is going to be 15. That's going to take me to the quota column because that's what I want to return. And I want an exact match. So I'll put 0. And then I'm going to take that and multiply it times this percentage. So I'll hit enter there and so for January the quota for Roberts should be 8.7 percent of their overall quota which is 261.367. Copy that across and now I have each monthly quota. Now I can take and highlight this go to insert recommended charts I'll take the default there, say OK, and now I'm going to move that chart to an object in Sheet 2, and I'll say OK, and I'll take this chart and I'll move it right here. I'm going to widen it a little bit. I'm actually going to collapse it down just a hair. I'm going to remove the chart title. And I'm probably going to do a couple other things. For example, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the grid lines. And I'm also, I want to get rid of the border. So I'm going to go to Format, Shape Outline, and say No Outline. <clears throat> so there I have my chart. So again, let's just check to make sure it's working. If I select any other individual, the chart automatically changes because the data here is changing based on that selection that we have with the index and match here and the VLOOKUP of the quota based on that name selected there. Now I'm just going to put sales here and quota there. And for sales, I'm just going to say equals sum and I'm going to sum up these values here. And for quota, again, equals sum. And I'll just sum up the values here. All right. And I'll take these two cells, and I'm going to go ahead and format them in this case. I'll take these two cells, and I'm going to make those bold. I'm going to put them in white text with this color value and maybe I'll center them there. Okay, now I want to put the percentage there so I'm going to highlight this group of cells. I'm going to go to merge and center and I'm going to merge those cells 
And in here, I'm just going to type the formula equals the sales divided by the quota and hit enter. I'm going to center that both vertically and horizontally. I'm going to change it to a percentage, add one decimal place, and then I'm just going to increase the size so it looks a little bit better. And then I'm going to conditional format that. So we'll go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, rules. I'm going to say greater than, and I'll put 100% here. And if it's greater than 100%, I'm going to custom format that with bold, and I'm going to choose green. Say OK and OK. And I'm also going to conditional format that if it's less than 100%, I'll custom format that so it is bold and it is red. Say OK there and OK there. And now let's again check it to make sure it's working. Looks like it's working perfectly. So the only thing I'm going to do is add my title, which is going to be your company salesperson evaluation. And I'm going to highlight that across, do a merge and center, again, center it vertically and horizontally, do the same formatting they used there, kick up the size, and then I'm going to take and highlight this whole area and put a bold border around it. And there we have it. I'm just going to downsize the chart just a hair. So that border looks a little bit better. And now we've created our dashboard. I can make any selection here. The graph automatically adjusts. The sales and quota values adjust. And I can see right away what percentage that salesperson did of their quota. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.